Edmonds. Edmonds had lost in this building a year ago. In fact, it was its last regular season loss. Moving down the ice, Gaudreau back door, and Jenner missed a tap in. Gaudreau lining up, centering, and that was tapped in. Marchenko with his 15th of the year, and the Jackets take a 1 0 lead, just a minute 14 in. Lost coverage here by Evans and Jack coming back into their own zone, and two really good chances. It was Boone Jenner, Marchenko, who did score a goal. The last meeting between these two teams gets a second opportunity. There's the first one. And right here, just a two-on-one develops. And for Marchenko, he jumps to that hole, puts his paddle down on the ice. And he's wide open to tap that one home. one nothing Blue Jackets early in this one after a good start by Evans. And the Jackets come right back. Ryan McLeod for the Oilers, who are second in the league with ten shorthanded goals. McLeod, poke Jack away at the last second by Adam Boquist. That was a good play. Ross Levin, little spin move on McLeod to the middle and line of the and has a tiptoe by Jenner. It looks like it. Celebration afterwards and Liney that walks to that middle gets that wicked wrist for a way that he's always had. Determined to get shots there, determined to have traffic, and it's no different here. You're going to see Boone Jenner come into the picture, and he's just in the eyes a little bit, but it's the tip of the stick that he gets the deflection down on this wrister by Patrick Line. And to stem the tide a bit, they are an A finds Probert. Up the gut, take it away. Gaudreau dishes off. Shot score! Marchenko! His second of the afternoon! Boy, what a zinger that was by Marchenko. This kid's really starting to find that stride, and, and it's off the rush. In the neutral zone, this puck gets turned over, and bam, Marchenko doesn't waste any time. He walks in, makes a move, uses the defender as a screen, gets it through, and up over top of the blocker side. I mean, that's barred down by Marchenko, who's got three goals in the two games versus Edmonton, obviously likes playing against. That's what they'll need today, <laughs> they, they, at they a get, minimum. They're going to need four in this one. They'll need it for 15 and 18, but they have the ability to do it. Here's a quick chance, and Lining banks one in off Campbell. And it's 4 nothing. Lining, number 17. Man, I don't know if he's going to get there before they drop this puck, but it looks like he's getting ready. In South Beach, sent in deep by Derek Ryan. Bernie under duress. Pugliarvi took it away. Fogel to the net. Shoots and scores. And that might be Edmonton's initial push back into this game. Fogel stays hot. That's number 11. Four goals in the last three games that he's played. That's five into the second period here. It's a sharp angle shot. But for Fogel, he's got Ryan in front. And that's that presence we talked about. Look, it takes someone in front to manhandle Ryan. McDavid. Dishing, Nugent Hopkins back, one-timer and a oh. save for Pasalo. He robs Dreisaitl. Barry to McDavid, eludes Jenner. Nugent Hopkins, Barry. McDavid, faking, dishing, one-timer, score! Leon Dreisaitl and Edmonton right back in this game. That's seven consecutive games for Dreisaitl, 36 on the year. 4-2. When he walks in, it looks like he's going to wind up. A little delay. That right there freezes Corpus Allo. You can even see him moving to the right. He thought that shot was going to come through the screen after the fake slap shot, and he dishes it over McDavid. That is perfect pass over to Dreisaitl. Under the... Connor McDavid trying to rake it free. Hard battle on the half wall, and McDavid predictably wins it. Dashing to his right, looking to create shorthanded. Around Gaudreau to the net, scores! Connor McDavid! A fantastic length of the ice drive, and it's 4-3! Players, out of the scrum, you fish the puck up, and this is one guy that can get the top speed so fast. Bulkfist, no chance there. That should have been a penalty, I believe with the, the arm into the, the body like that, but he fights through it as he often does, keeps it going, fends off one, there's another one, he fends that one off, and then that quick release. He somehow kicked out the pad of McDavid, shot Barry Block, rebound McDavid, Edmonton pouring it on now, Kulak loading up, McDavid, a drive, scores! This game is tied! 
for all in Columbus. Boy, I'll tell you, what a dominating shift after a penalty kill as Jay Woodcroft often does. He loads up the top line. A beautiful save by Corpus Allo earlier. Zach Hyman, we've talked about this. Get into the grill, get in front of him. What a tremendous screen on this clapper by Connor McDavid who walks in. You don't see that too often on the slap shot from Connor McDavid. He scored the most wrist shot goals in the league. But and we told you a long time ago, Louie, that five would be required to win. Rollers need at least one more. Centering pass, dishing off, shooting line and a save skinner. Rebound score. And instead it's the Jackets who go up 5-4 as Jack Roslovic with his first goal in 14 games. Yeah, hard shot by Line. And it's a juicy rebound that comes out. Roslovic and he buries it. This little drop pass that goes off the shoulder, and because of that one last little pass, it's a little dish right here. Roslovic gives it to Line. So it changes the angle just a little bit. He gets it away in a hurry and it ricochets off the shoulder. It's a great save, but then the rebound pops out to Roslovic. Rebound, Warren Fogel, scampers to the red, dumps it in. Bayreuther on it for Columbus, launches ahead. Roslovic, a two-on-one with Liney. He shoots and scores! Jack Roslovic with his second goal here in the third period, and Columbus extends to a 6-4 lead. Has a couple assists in this game as well, and he just elects to shoot this one. And it's the right choice. Don't try and force this pass. He's looking the whole way, whether or not he never once looked at Stuart Skinner the whole time down the McDavid with Columbus trying to hang on. A centering pass went off a skate. McDavid will use the screen from Bouchard. Curl out. Give it up. Get it back. Shot. Tip. Score. Zach Hyman tucks it home. And Edmonton crawls within 6-5. Still a healthy 256 to play. And this one thuds into him as he's off to the side of the neck, gets himself into the spot, just trying to ricochet off the body and in as he just stands his ground, knows it's going to hit him, it drops down, bounces over his stick once, but he stays with it. And now Edmonton within one goal here. Dry settle, peering inside, loading up, waiting. Bouchard fires, save, rebound, whack. What a play to keep it in. Barry shot, rocking it wide. Two seconds, and the Jackets will survive. Six five, your final. What a finish. Edmonton Valiant, but comes up short.